I'd like to welcome you to this edition of the Publisher's Desk podcast. My name is Pierpaolo Finaldi, and I'm the CEO and publisher of Catholic Truth Society, a publisher which has been serving the Catholic community in the UK and abroad for over 150 years. We've published everything from prayer cards to booklets to leather-bound liturgical volumes and everything in between, and have published great Catholic authors, including Cardinal Newman, Ronald Knox, G.K. Chesterton, and many others. Today, I'm very happy to be speaking to another in our long line of distinguished authors, Father Stephen Wang, author of one of our latest releases, Sycamore, The Catholic Faith Explained. Father Stephen Wang is a Catholic priest in the Diocese of Westminster. He's worked in parishes, schools, and university chaplaincies across London, and lectured in philosophy and theology. He's written a number of books, including Aquinas and Sartre, A Way of Life for Young People, How to Discover Your Vocation, and the New Evangelization and the Christian Faith. He is currently rector of the Venerable English College in Rome. So welcome, uh, Father Stephen. Great to be with you, Pier Paolo. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. So you've just taken up a new post in Rome. How are you settling in? Um, well, I think uh, I've actually been here six weeks, so I arrived in the heat of August. You, you've been hearing about this heat wave in Italy, so I hardly went out for three weeks, but had some good handover time with Father Philip, who I've taken over from. Um, I had a couple of weeks in Assisi, a beautiful, beautiful time to do some Italian, and then we've just had our staff meetings for the beginning of the year, and new students arrived, they're off to their own Italian lessons as I speak, and just, yeah, it's beginning to, to become real, and I'm feeling very settled and, and just excited to see the whole of the house back in about 10 days' time. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, we, we'll, we'll switch to the, the bilingual podcast in Italian shortly. <laughs> you, can, you can test me later on <laughs> in a year's time. Wonderful. Good. So um, for the past few years, you've spent a lot of time on the road uh, filming the Sycamore series. So what was the inspiration behind that and uh, how is it being used in, in parishes and other places as well? Yeah, it, it's one of those strange and very common things where something started very simple and, and it seems to have grown and it wasn't part of a, a great plan. As you know, I was a university chaplain for many years. And the end of my first year working at Newman House Chaplaincy, we had a, what we called an evangelization team. So it was just a group of students, myself, reflecting on how to try and share the faith with, with fellow students. And out of that grew a, a very simple summer project. We said, well, let's, let's write a course, let's film it, let's put it online, let's, let's run this course for our students. Just an introduction to the Christian faith with some discussion, very, very simple. Um, so it, it didn't cost hardly anything. We, we did it in about three weeks one summer, and we just experimented with using this new course, which we called Sycamore. But th the surprising thing was, well, first of all, it, it seemed to work in the chaplaincy, and that was wonderful. Got a great response, some really good discussions and, and faith sharing and, and opening out to students. But also, it's so easy to put things online and share them, and we found that people were using them in different chaplaincies and schools and parishes around the country, but also abroad, not just in the UK, in, in, in Ireland and in, in, in the States and in Australia, in one or two other places. So it just made us think there's something valuable here. Um, and then three years ago, we had a big, big rethink and we did some fundraising and we prayed about it a lot and just felt this was worth trying to do um, even better. You know, we'd had a lot of experience, a lot of learning. So we, we rewrote the course, we expanded it. We got a great um, film company to produce it. Um, we, we talked to a lot of different people about how it could be used and what they were looking for in a course like this. And we relaunched, and this is the, the current Sycamore films, the current Sycamore program. Um, and the, the philosophy has been very simple. The core idea is to try and present the Catholic faith in all its beauty and richness, um, to do it in a very accessible way, not trying to avoid jargon and just, just ordinary language, speaking to people um, in, in a way that's, that's accessible to them, and to really encourage lots of discussion and sharing to make it as informal as possible. So there was, there was some solid Catholic Christian teaching, but a really 
a really strong sense of, of welcome and not putting pressure on people. It's, it's not, first of all, there is some catechesis in it, but it's not, first of all, a catechetical lesson. It's a way of helping people to share and to grow into their faith. Um, and that's, that's Sycamore in a nutshell. And then out of that, since we, look, since we relaunched about two years ago, it's, it's just grown into a, a project that's used in many, many different parishes and schools um, across the world now because of our translation team. So it's, it's very exciting to see something very small in God's providence grow in this way. Do you remember just uh, what's behind the, the name Sycamore? Oh, yes, of course. It's, <laughs> I, I'm so used to it, but of course it's not obvious. This is the story um, in, in St. Luke's Gospel, um, where uh, you've got this wonderful situation where, where um, Jesus is coming in into Jericho um, and this man wants to meet him. He, he's, he's desperate to see Jesus, but he doesn't know how to get access to him. He's too short, the crowds are too big. Um, so what does he do? He climbs a tree in order to get a, a better view of Jesus and, and to try and hear what Jesus is saying, see him, encounter him. And the tree that he climbs is, this, is a sycamore tree. So the sycamore tree, sycamore itself, becomes a symbol of something that will help someone to meet Jesus, but will not get in the way or become an obstacle. And in fact, you don't need the tree in the end. What you need is, is the meeting, the encounter, the living relationship with Jesus. So hopefully sycamore is not an end in itself. It's, it's a help to groups and individuals to meet the Lord and to help them to help their friends and colleagues and family to, to meet the Lord. So, so that's the story of Sycamore. Thank you. I mean, this book has grown out of your experience as a priest and a university chaplain and in developing the Sycamore course as well. So what are the particular challenges of communicating the faith in our times? And how have you responded to those with the Sycamore course and this book? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. And of course, a lot of it depends on the situation, doesn't it? The mm. context, you might be in a certain town, you might be in a school and, and the challenges will be very different. Um, and let's, let's not forget the, the simple things. Very often, one of the challenges is that Christians are just not meeting other people who, who have no faith or different faiths. Christians and, and anyone can get into a, a kind of bubble. You know, they can meet their fellow parishioners at church. I can meet Catholic students at the chaplaincy. So, so one of the key challenges before anything else is how do we meet others? How are we outside of our bubble, our parish, our chaplaincy, our comfort zone, and really open to meeting other people in, in ordinary circumstances, talking, sharing, um, meeting, in, encountering others, being open to them. Um, and then when we do meet, and we, we are, I'm not assuming everyone is trying to be an evangelist all the time, but just when we are meeting others and, and we're trying to be open to a discussion about faith, sometimes we don't know how to start. We, we just feel self-conscious or we're, we're worried about imposing things on people or um, we, we feel we don't have the skills. Or other times we try and have a conversation, but we feel very stilted or we're, we're preaching at people or we're, as I've said already, we're using a, a religious jargon that doesn't make sense to the people we're, we're speaking to. So all of this together, let's, let's put it in the positive. I think what we need as Christians is to be really open to people, to, to find, to put ourselves in situations where we're able to meet people in, in a loving, open way, to be, to be brave and natural and unself-conscious in talking about questions of faith and religion and morality. I don't mean imposing things, but just in a very natural way, as, as we would about so many things, as we talk about ordinary life. And then there's a little bit of skill in this, but trying to find a language and a way of speaking that really makes sense to people and, and isn't jargon or Christian speak or, or seven syllable words that don't mean anything to anyone. And that we're talking about real things. Maybe I'm bringing in a final point now, but just we can speak very in a very abstract way. And this is true of conversations. It can be true of sermons. Um, 
can we speak about real things that matter to people? You know, yeah, I mean, people... I, I always I always remember a, a very interesting quotation from um, Don Luigi Giussani, you know, the, the founder of uh, Communion and Liberation. Yeah. And he, he would say that there's there's nothing so empty as the answer to a question that's never been asked. Yeah. Um, and so I think it, I think one of the important things, one of the great things that, that happens in, the, in this book is that the questions are there, because I think, you know, in, in today's society, we have lots of distractions, lots of things which can keep us from asking the important questions. So in a sense, even formulating the questions or uh, helping people formulate the questions is, is an important part of this job of giving people the answers as well. Yeah. I think that's very true. And, and that gets us, if you like, to the, to the heart of Sycamore as an approach. I don't mean a program or a video or a book, mm. as an approach. It's to try and create space where relationships can grow and where really good, honest, natural conversations can happen about, I won't say important things, that makes it sound too heavy, but just about things that people care about. So everything in Sycamore is about that. It's creating a space so that you can meet, you know, giving, giving groups and parishes and schools advice about how to do some welcome and advertising and publicity and to create a, a welcoming environment. It's about trying to create a, a group, a space within that group, whether it's online, I mean, the wonder of, of Zoom and Teams and everything, whether it's online or in person, where people can feel welcomed and unpressured, and that they can be themselves. You know, they're, they're, there are normal people around. <laughs> they're friendly, they're, they're welcoming. Um, they're not diving into a heavy religious discussion right at the beginning. But as, as you've said, there are some questions for, the dis for discussion that do touch on, on important things that are on people's hearts. So it's, it's creating the space provoking people in a gentle way and then giving them permission to speak and not judging them and you know you're not trying to convert everyone you're not trying to teach everyone the whole of the bible or the whole of the catechism it's a little bit of precious space for, for conversation mm -hmm. and for the lord for the lord to in fact let, let's let's talk a little bit about the methodology behind the book um and, and the mm. course as well i mean the book is i, I must say it, it's looking really beautiful and the um, the the images, the layout, I think, uh, are you know very much hold their own in in what we see around in in the world um, today, and um, I'm I'm really pleased with mm. the attractiveness of it, which is is very important because the faith is is attractive, and we 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 bring people to faith by attraction, and mm. I think that that is as much in in us as it is in, is in the things. Uh, and the situations that we that we kind of uh, use um, for for evangelism, um, but the book has some particular features, um, questions for reflection. Uh, it has wisdom from the scriptures and um, extracts also from uh, UCAT. So why um, are these so important, and how uh, can the book be used to Im explore the faith? What's the kind of methodology behind it? Yeah. Yeah. And look, first of all, just to echo what you said, I'm so pleased as, as the author and, and part of a team behind it. We're so pleased that it's been it's been designed and produced so beautifully because that was another, if you like, key to Sycamore from the beginning was it's not enough just to have an idea or a, a talk. You want to present things as well as possible. We, we wanted to make the films as beautifully as possible. And just as you said, this book, it really reflects the beauty of the art and the photographs that we've used, but the fact that so much care has been put into it and it's something someone can enjoy looking at. So, so beauty and, um, I mean, simply professionalism, you know, just that something mm. is done well is, is a delight um, and helps people to, to be open to what we're offering. Um, yeah, first of all, it is a beautiful book, we hope. And, and of course, my first hope is simply that people will see it and read it and enjoy it. And it, it's, it's a book there, whether you read it in bed or you read it on the train or you treat it as a study book. So it's got a text and we hope some inspiring pictures. Um, but we hope it's more than just a book, that it, it leads you in to, to a deeper reflection. And I think if I can just put this into two headings, 
the individual and, and the group. It is a book for individuals. This is not just a textbook for groups. I'll come on to that in a minute. First of all, it's a book that we hope anyone can pick up and enjoy for themselves, can give to a friend. They, they read a, a short chapter, they enjoy the, the pictures, they're hopefully inspired and they've learned something. But then, as you've said, in, in every chapter, there's a set of questions for reflection. And, and they're not just discussion questions, they're for, even for an individual. I've read this chapter, I'm, I'm thinking about things, and, and it's, it's to prod people. Yeah, I, I like reflection questions, you know. It's not that everyone will speak to you, but one of, one of these questions might get you thinking, you read a chapter in bed, you, you wake up the next morning and you're pondering on this question. Or, um, and then I've really wanted, we've, we've wanted right from the beginning, that, that it's, it's thoroughly rooted in the scriptures, in the, in the Bible. Um, so, of course, the, the Catholic teaching itself flows out of the wisdom and the teaching in the Bible, but the, the, the teaching, the, the content of Sycamore, you, you'd read a short chapter, maybe just five or six pages, but then you'd have some beautiful quotations from the scriptures, from the Old and the New Testament, for you to ponder. And, and for example, that you might bring into your private prayer or your personal meditation and take some time over that. Um, so it's to link your, your reading of the Sycamore book with your personal prayer time. Um, and if someone isn't a person of prayer, at, at the very least that they can see that this presentation of Sycamore is rooted in the teaching, the word of the Lord, the, the Lord speaking to us through the scriptures. And it's not just the opinions of Father Stephen Wang or the Sycamore team, it, it's got those roots. And then something we're really pleased about is that for every chapter, really the, the, the teaching and the content of Sycamore is tiny. You know, it's, it's a few hundred words on whatever. Is there a God, the most holy trinity, the blessed sacrament, the Virgin Mary, the moral life? You cannot do justice to these incredible topics, the Christian faith, in just a few hundred words. I think the, the Sycamore chapter is just meant to open up the topic, as I've said, create some space, but then the, the book itself, at the end of each chapter, it points you towards the, the sections of the UCAT where you can deepen your understanding. You can, you've got a reference point, so you can take a copy of the UCAT, you can have it next to you, and then you can read on. But equally, from, from the main catechism of the Catholic Church, it gives you paragraph reference. So if you've read something and you're feeling inspired or puzzled or you just want to know more, well, what does the Catholic Church really teach? And not just this Sycamore book, you can go straight to the Catechism and to UCAT and find the references. And the lovely thing about the e-book, the e-version which you've produced, is that if you're reading this on your tablet, then you can click straight through because we've actually put the hyperlinks to the catechism texts. And, and you've, you've read something about, let's say, the mass or confession, and you want to go deeper and you click straight through into it. So, so that's the vision. It's an organic thing. It's a book, but it's more than a book. And it leads you into prayer, reading the scriptures, reflection. And as I said, the second thing, much shorter, Everything I've just said applies especially to a group. So you're, you're in a discussion group or a Sycamore class, or you're in your RCIA group, you may be you are using the Sycamore book as one of the resources. It's not an RCIA book at all, but it might be one resource. And then by your side, you've got the Bible to look in, the, the, the biblical references. You've given everyone a copy of, of UCAT or, or they've got the catechism and you can go deeper and, and you can reinforce your reflections when you go home, when the group has finished and you've got the discussion questions and, and the, the key text there. So it's a, it's a wonderful mosaic of some of the different ways that you can use Sycamore and it leads you in to a, a deeper appreciation of the faith, hopefully. Mm. I mean, I, one, one thing that I wanted to ask um, was, I suppose, there are, there are many kind of introductions to the Catholic faith available on the market um, and uh, many, um, many apologists for the faith and, and great teachers and, and catechists have, have kind of set themselves this task of having a, a, a short intro to, to the faith. 
Um, I, I, I suppose my question would be, what do you think is kind of particular about about this one? And um, I suppose uh, an interesting question would be, this, this obviously was born in the context of uh, university chaplaincy. Um, so what would, you, what would you say that that, that kind of, um, what difference did that make to the way that you approached it? And how did you find that the young people that you were kind of ministering to, um, what kind of uh, questions, what kind of um, situation did you find them in? I mean, I know, I know what, what I think, you know, in the sense that I, I think this, this is one of those, one of the few books where it really doesn't assume very much at all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to you. No, no, that, that's, yeah. that's, I mean, there's so much to, we could spend an hour talking about all those things, Pia mm. Paolo. I think, um, yeah, first of all, there are uh, probably, I was going to say a thousand, there's probably a million books written about the Christian faith, mm. introductions to the Christian faith, apologetics, catechisms, and my first response is just the more the better, because everyone's different, and every, every, every angle on the faith, it's like a beautiful crystal, isn't it? You, there's loads mm. of ways you can see in the lights reflected in different ways, and and the more the better. So it's not pretending to be the best or, or fundamentally different. It's, it's grown out of a context, a story, a program. It reflects myself and, and the team that's worked on it. I would say the fact that it's, it's grown out of a lot of experience of working, as I've said, with Sycamore, in Sycamore groups with ordinary people. I don't mean me, I mean the experience of of the Sycamore teams and the Sycamore groups and the Sycamore program, there's a real focus here, which is how to share the faith with ordinary people in ordinary language without taking too much for granted, but without being patronizing. So it's a really delicate thing, but I do think it's possible. And I think the book reflects the experience of, in fact, six years of sycamore groups working and the course that the the films being refined and learning from experience what's the kind of language that resonates with people what are questions that people are really asking um how do we communicate the beauty and the truth of the christian faith in a way that speaks to people makes sense and touches their lives these are not easy things and it, it's not that I sat down and wrote a book with these answers, but it's, as I say, out of all this experience, I think Sycamore has grown and it's taken shape. And I think what it's led to, and, and this is something I really believe in, I really think it's possible to be faithful to the Catholic Christian faith. In other words, to present Catholic Christianity, the, 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 the beauty and the truths of the teaching of the scriptures, the teaching of the Catholic Church, the teaching of the tradition, I think it's possible to present that clearly and beautifully and accessibly to people. I don't mean, you know, the teaching of Thomas Aquinas or, or the, all 800 pages of the Catechism, but just our faith speaks to people. It does make sense if we explain it well and clearly. But secondly, to do that in a way that is, is attractive, that eases people in, that, and this is part of the, the, the methodology of the book and of the programs with stories, with anecdotes, with examples of the saints, with some of my own life story woven in because I'm the, the presenter and the, the author in this case, with, um, with experiences of, of ordinary people, um, with just making the faith clear but also making it real and so that there's a there's a connection with ordinary life it, it touches the real questions that people have about about work and family and living the faith in the world so as i say i'm, I'm making a simple point here it, it's a firm conviction of my own and it's an experience from sycamore that you can present the faith faithfully beautifully accessibly without it being too scary too difficult of course, there's lots of challenges, um, but, but this, is, this is the vision of the Sycamore programme. This is our experience. And I think a lot of that is reflected in the book. You know, simple, clear teaching, lots of 
stories and examples and illustrations and trying to go very gently, but to lead people into a, a richer truth and then give them space for themselves and, and, and to really honour and respect the fact that people come from such different places. This, this is all part of the, the Sycamore philosophy, I think, and it comes across in the writing, I hope. Great. So I think uh, my last question would be, kind of what, if, what are your hopes for the uh, Sycamore course? and for the book uh, in, in future? What, what do you really want to see happen? Well, I'll answer, I'll give two answers because you've asked about the, the, the program and the book. Um, our hope, this isn't just me, Sycamore is, it's, there's a wonderful team of, of um, trustees and leaders, of, of people who've been running Sycamore in their parishes and dioceses, and they're all in, in a wonderful network of, of um, support and sharing. Um, and so if anyone's listening and, and would like to get involved in that or to, to use the Sycamore programme, please look at our website above all. It's sycamore.fm, sycamore.fm. Um, and you can just find all the information you need there. My hope for the Sycamore programme, the Sycamore course, is that it helps Christian communities to do what they already want to do. In other words, our, our Catholic parishes and schools and chaplaincies, they're often longing to share their faith and meet others and speak about faith. And the Sycamore resources and, and the experience of Sycamore, it's to help them to do that. It's to give them some materials, some films, some discussion questions, a book, some advice, some training, some friendships and networking, but it's not to join a club or, or to join a movement. It's to help the parishes and schools and chaplaincies to be the loving communities that they long to be and, and to give them tips and resources so that they can create spaces where at the local level they can meet people and share the faith and be more and more open to people and to be a, a, a local church that is able to evangelize and share the faith, but to do that confidently as a community and not just by plugging in a program. So Sycamore is really not a program or resource. It's a way of encouraging and supporting people to, to be the church that they long to be. And there's a few resources. So that's my hope for Sycamore. My hope for the book, of course, is that, that it sells a million copies and, and uh, you have to reprint it. And uh, uh, no, my hope is that it helps people. Yeah, and I've already put it in, into two headed. My hope is that it helps individuals who read it mm -hmm. um, and not, not just the, the people listening to this podcast or whatever. I really, really hope that it's it's seen by people outside the Catholic Church, outside the Christian faith, that they might see it in bookshops and on Amazon and become curious about the Christian faith and think, gosh, you know, I, I hope it's a, a book that can reach out beyond the confines of the Catholic Church. Um, but then I hope it's a book that's, that's read by Catholics and other Christians that inspires them in their own faith, renews their faith and gives them a desire to share that with others. Um, and I do hope that, it, that it's a complement to the course. You know, we'd, we'd love that a parish or a school that's running Sycamore would buy 100 copies and would give it to all their participants, or that a parish priest listening to me now would buy 500 copies and give one out um, after Mass on the first Sunday of Advent. And, and he's thinking, or the parish catechist is thinking, there's no way I can do that. We haven't got the money for that. Well, I hope they do some fundraising because they think, this could be a great tool for renewing the faith in our parishes and schools and, and for evangelizing, evangelizing. So there's my tip. If you're a parish priest, if you have 500 people coming to mass, do some fundraising, buy a thousand copies, give two to every parishioner, one for themselves and one to give to their non-Christian neighbor. And if we did that, you'd be a very happy publisher. And I, I believe that it would serve the Lord and help to build the kingdom. Thank you. Many thanks. Well, Father, it's been a pleasure working with you and, and the team on this, and uh, I'm uh, confident that it'll do much good uh, in the church as we come out of this kind of rather difficult period, uh, and that it'll give us the um, one of the tools that we can use to kind of go out again and, and uh, 
talk to all those people who've been asking themselves lots of questions while they've all been stuck at home in the last year and a half. So thank you very much. If you could Thanks. give us your blessing as we finish. From I Rome, will. And Pia Paolo, I've already mentioned the website, but just if yeah. any, I know that you'll put in the, the show notes and in, in the bottom, some links to the book itself on the CTS website and the, the main Sycamore site, sycamore.fm. But also, if anyone would like to find out more, especially to get in touch with, with myself, with the team, to find out about running Sycamore in their parishes and all the resources, all of which, apart from the book, that's, that's your domain, but all the online Sycamore resources are free to use, please look at our Facebook page or our Instagram page account. And our handle on Facebook and Instagram is Sycamore Seek one word, Sycamore Seek. And you can find us there on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, please get in touch with us, anyone who's listening. Let's just pray, Pia Paolo, to finish with them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of faith, for the gift of your Son, Jesus, and for the gift of his church. We pray that we can be more faithful to him that we can fulfill our baptismal calling of sharing the faith with others, of evangelizing and of being examples and witnesses to the world. And we pray for your blessing on Sycamore, on all those who are involved in Sycamore groups in their communities, and on the launch of the Sycamore book. We pray that it will do whatever you wish for building the kingdom and be a blessing on all those who read it and all those involved in the publication at this time. Loving Father, we make this prayer with great confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Evangelization, pray for, pray us. for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Pia Paolo. God bless you.